Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Let's Play Shining Force 2 Part 8 Marauder EX here and we're gonna take a little side trip down here. We're gonna come down here and we're going to investigate this little thing here and we're gonna find more mithril because we needed more of this shit. <laughs> so much more and we're gonna go here and where are we? We're in the tomb that Slade infiltrated and stole some things. Yes, and we're gonna open this up and Bowie found the power water. The power water that Slade so carelessly left and then look behind here there's the shrine with the two jewels. We can't do anything with that now, but we will be doing that later. But this power water will help us now because let's look at everyone's attack. 19 attack, 14 attack, 21, 21, 12, 18. Really, the person you're going to want to use that on is going to be Bowie. But you want to keep Slade useful as well, but it's going to be a little while for that. So, yeah. Um, we're going to go ahead and just use the power water on Bowie. Any of the permanent stat bow boosts I typically use on Bowie because everyone else is just kind of useless. I might use, I could use it on Sarah, but that's kind of a waste. And boosted by four! Holy crap, that means Bowie has the highest attack out of anyone in the force right now. Bowie is a walking death machine. That was one of the best stat boosts you can get. I think four is the highest for any of those items. So that's, that was quite impressive. Good job, Bowie. And we're going to go back up here, and we're going to go back to Grand's. Already pa passed away, Bowie feels pity. Eh. Eh. Alright. We can buy stuff. We don't really need to buy stuff, because they sell the same stuff that we, we could buy before. So if he sold, like, new weapons... That would be useful, but he doesn't. We don't get new weapons for a while. I'm kinda disappointed by that. We are gonna go over here, and in the chaos, all the animals got out. All the animals escaped, and then we're gonna go over here, to this little building, and we're gonna find one of them. And he's so cold and scared. Will you name him? Yes. And if you decide to not name him anything, his default name is Kiwi, and that's what we're going to keep him named as. Kiwi the Tort! Um, he is a turtle monster thing. Um, and he's quite... Well, he's useful-ish. Um, for those of you who've played Shining Force 2 before and know all about Kiwi, uh, no, he is not going to be a permanent addition to my force. I've pretty much got my force planned out, and I will, I may ask about things from time to time about what you guys want to see, and if I can fit it in, I will, as far as members go. But I've pretty much got my force picked out. I know who I'm going to be using. Alright. And more... All the soldiers are dead. Most of the townspeople are going to be fine. I'm going to walk in. Lots of dead people in the castle. And commotion. Oh, that sour fruit. <laughs> That's, I'm just going to keep calling him that from now until eternity, because I never thought of that until just now. It's... Sir Astral really could take out Lemon if he wanted to. He's a very accomplished sorcerer. Like, I'm sure he's got, like, bolt level 4 or something. Maybe death level three. Because, uh, well, Diesel ca caps out at level two that I've seen. I don't think it gets any higher than level two. And I think level two gives it like a 50% chance of instant death on any standard enemy. It doesn't work on bosses, I believe. Oh no, Princess Alice is screaming for help! Somebody help her! I've got to say, King Gollum looks so much cooler than our king. Our king just looks goofy. I would 
really wish Sir Astral was our king, because he's just so much more of a badass. And somehow he, he he's conned Lemon into going with him. It's like, okay, yeah, let's go. Let's go do this. And those two soldiers following him as well. And... And I'm paralyzed with fear. Yeah, sure, let's take the king with him. Oh, the, the minister's not paralyzed with fear anymore. Because he's following us. Apparently Bowie gives him strength. Alright. Make our way up the tower as well. And... More dead people! Oh my god, Lemon! Go and save her! That's not my king, that's a devil! A strange black cloud enveloped me, cough. And... Yeah. Lemon... Lemon's pretty much out. And we remember this place, we fought here. But now, there's stairs. Never trust stairs in an ancient tower. Uh, this place is huge. And playing on the Xbox 360 pisses me off because I hate the Xbox 360 D-pad. You can use the analog stick, but it's just as weird. And this place is nothing but stairs. Alright, and this will come into play later, kids. Remember this little section. We'll deal with that when it comes to. In the meantime... Holy shit! Gallon looks kind of creepy now. You wouldn't understand. You're an idiot! And Princess Alice again. King Grantu and Bowie! Blast. I'm really sure we could probably take him at this point. Between Astral and us, we, we could take King Gollum. No, not gonna happen. Alright. Gollum and Astral, fight it out! Two old people fighting to the death. It's like, uh... The Lord of the Rings... Gandalf and Saruman. You cannot move. Why? Because you're old and I broke your hip. Ah, oh, holy crap, it's a golem mage. Devils, I summon thee! And he summons Gollum soldiers, which that just goes to show that Gollum soldiers are evil. Mainly because they are the only bad guys in this level range that we could fight and still be useful against. I mean, they could summon more evil gizmos, but we've already kind of trashed all the evil gizmos. Alright, uh, another cleric. And dark smokes. So they are a step up of evil gizmos. Attack of 22, magic dispel. They... They're not fun. Dispel, if it works, it silences you, preventing you from casting any or all magic spells. Alright, we are... We're gonna go around this way. That way we only have to deal with one side of bad guys at the moment, and they're gonna have to... Run all the way over there to attack us! Like, I didn't see that one coming. Oh well, most of these guys are a joke. We've, we've been able to beat these guys for a while. And everyone's just getting involved in the party. At least now I know that that uh, archer's not going to be uh, able to get in my way. That archer, however, might. Or perhaps not. He's going to go over and attack Chester. I thought he was going to attack Bowie. I was worried about him attacking Bowie. But the archer at this point is kind of useless. Kiwi Tortoise, level 7. Look at Kiwi go! 
He takes off his hat and beats you with it. Strange kind of winged hat. Alright, and... Chester's got a really good movement range all of a sudden. Bring it on this side. And just block in that golem. Not that it matters. And Blaze Level 2! Because remember what we said about AoEs, kids? Let's do Splash damage. We've got one person who's got two HP left. So he is going to be target for... Slade. Slade, kill him! Good job, Slade. I probably should have upgraded Sarah's weapon so that she could actually attack. Let's see how much damage Bowie does now. Eight points of damage to a gallant knight. Not bad. Not bad at all, Bowie. You're going to become less useless as we speak. What the hell? He gets a counterattack and then a double attack? Oh, they're so favoring the enemy rolls at the moment. Alright, now as you notice, Kiwi has seven HP. You would think he's going to die, and you're probably right. He is probably going to die at least once or twice in this playthrough. So far, technically, I've had no deaths, because I had to restart. Kazen has no deaths. So, there may have been a death on the screen, but there are no deaths. As of right now, I'm, I'm completely going to jinx myself by saying that now. Uh, Kiwi... Let's, let's look at Kiwi for a second. Defense of 23. He's going to take one point of damage from everything that attacks him. As long as it's not a spell, it's going to only do one point of damage. Magic, however, affects differently because it does kind of a set uh, range of damage. Uh, and the least of which being Blaze Level 1, which the bad guys, we've got one bad guy on this map that can do that. Pretty much everyone else, it's gonna. Bad guy's spells are gonna do more damage, and Kiwi's HP is going to allow for any given moment. So, Kiwi, powerhouse tank against uh, melee units, against magic units, he's kind of weak because one spell will knock him on his ass. Alright, let's see if she can kill him. I doubt it. Holy shit, she did! Mazel Tov, congratulations, Sarah, you just beat up a centaur. Uh, Slade can kill him. Slade should be... Along the line with everyone else as far as XP goes, you know. Yeah, everyone's doing good. Except for Kiwi. But we, we just got Kiwi, so that's... Perfectly understandable. And 10 points of damage to a Galapar. Nice. However, we want to be very weary of those smokes. They are dangerous. Don't go throwing spears at my healer, you stupid horse, half horse son of a bitch. Galamarcher! Dead! And maybe I can kill the Gallum Knight with Kiwi. That would be awesome if I could. Will that actually work? Will you do that, Kiwi? Yes! Good job, Kiwi! Congratulations! You are useful, at least for now. Stop attacking my priest! No, you're just an archer. You're half useless at this point. At this stage of the game, you are just a waste of space. Critical hit of 10. Oh, he's probably going to get the kill strike on him. At this point now, I don't care about keeping everyone balanced. I want to end this fight. Oh, he's level 9! Didn't expect that, but hey, Mazel Tov. And now the dark smoke comes in, and now is when things are going to start sucking. Bowie's been silenced! Yay! Perfect! Not only can he silence you through his spell, he 
can silence you just by attacking. Rat bastard. Hey, Jaws the line. So now I'm a little concerned because if we have to aggress, we can't. We have to rely on Sarah using an angel wing. Which you never want to rely on Sarah doing anything. Because the second you have to rely on one individual, you're dead. And there's the giant X over Bowie's face. That's what happens when people are silenced. If you lose your voice due to uh, sickness in this world, the giant X flies over your face. You son of a bitch! No! We are not playing that game. Stop! trying to kill Bowie! You're not going to succeed! In fact, Bowie has had it up to here with your ship. Bowie has had it well beyond up to here with your shit, apparently. Now, this is probably not the smartest idea. But, we know for a fact that that... Yeah, you... Yeah, we know for a fact that the cleric is going to heal himself. So as long as we can keep Slade alive, we're fine. Yeah, he's just going to keep healing himself. And we want to keep doing that. We want to make sure he heals under our terms. Right, that dark smoke is... Getting a little too close for comfort, honestly. Alright, let's burn some things, shall we? Yes, fire! Fire good, Casey! Fire good! And for instances like this, is when we keep the spear, we want to hit him in the face! With the spear! And Chester's level 9, excellent. Or level 9. And someone healing himself, awesome. We're fine with that. Now he can't do it again. Now is when his usefulness is probably close to over. But who is level 9 and who still is level 8? Kazan and Slade are close. Sarah is not too far off. Let's attack him. Won't we'll get a level off, but I don't believe. Hey. Okay. And we're gonna heal myself. Because she needs XP. And we're just gonna let him come to us. Kiwi is gonna come over and smack a dark cleric in the face. Now, I hope you all enjoy this because this is the, like the first and last time Kiwi will be useful. And we'll attack you with the spear. I'm scared of you counterattacking. Bowie is no longer silenced. Awesome. And because I just don't trust him. Awesome. Now, we can kill the Dark Smoke easily. We'll have Sarah heal Chester here in a second. Should be wonderful. Please don't kill Chester. Thank you. I... could heal. I... could kill. Just in case. I don't want to see Chester die. And he would have lived, but hey, you never want to take that chance. So, 9 XP, not quite enough. Not killing the Dark Priest, but 
Oh, holy crap, you did kill it. With a critical hit. Good job, Kiwi. Yeah, you just keep attacking Chester. You have fun with that. And Slade. Um, can do it. But I want to heal with Sarah one more time to make sure she gets. Can I... Yeah, I can do one more. Time. Why not? The smoke seems to be going after Chester. Not even bother with it. There's a line. Ignore Jaha. Slade. Slade will get the killing stroke. Dark Smoke was defeated. And level 9. Excellent. Now only one person is not level 9 needs to be in the Kiwi. Alright, so. I'll go ahead and end this here. Because, again, don't want to make the videos too long. I will see you all in our next installment. Until then, later, everyone.